Dave Chappelle killed an affordable housing development in my neck of the woods in Ohio, folks. Why? Why did Dave Chappelle kill affordable housing? Why does he have anything to do with affordable housing in Ohio? And what are my thoughts on it? Let's break this thing down. Welcome to the show, folks. Your boy James Wise here, and this is the show where we talk about all things real estate. Man, y'all got questions? I want to answer them. And the question that I that I think a lot of people want answers from right now is, what in the heck is going on with this story with Dave Chappelle, right? What the heck does Dave Chappelle have to do with affordable housing in Ohio, and why is he killing it, Right. This thing is all over the news, man. The real story of the affordable housing development that Dave Chappelle helped kill. Yellow Springs votes no on housing plan after Chappelle and others speak up, right? So the first question, what in the hell does Dave Chappelle have to do uh, with Ohio housing developments? For those of you that do not know, uh, I'm from Ohio, as is uh, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle lives in a little village called Yellow Springs, Ohio. It is outside of Dayton, right? And uh, in Ohio, I, you know, I don't really know if y'all have this in other states, but in Ohio, we have cities, right? We have cities just like all of you, okay? Uh, I know y'all think that Ohio is just cows and stuff, but like we got cities too, okay? But then outside of cities, like we have smaller municipalities, right? Like uh, it's not a full force city, but you have things like townships or in this case, villages, right? Much smaller, much more stripped down, uh, much more rural, right? So uh, Dave lives in a very small village on an incredibly uh, large farm, okay? And uh, I actually myself am building a house for my family on a very large farm that is also not in a city in Ohio. It's Mine's a township. His is a village. And we'll talk about this a little bit later. I really wish I had the cachet that he did because they're, they're really screwing with me. But that's that. we'll talk about that later. First, we should talk about Dave, right? So uh, all this talk about him killing uh, th- this uh, development, right? They're trying to do this large development in this village that Dave lives in, right? He's got big, huge estate, right? It's, it's freaking Dave Chappelle, right? The guy's worth like, I don't know, like probably like $100 million maybe. I probably should have Googled that before I did the show. But like, yeah, it's freaking Dave Chappelle, dude. Obviously, everybody knows who Dave is. And, you know, Dave touches on uh, a lot of the, um, you know, the controversial topics, right? And uh, at first, it was like, whoa, Dave Chappelle just went in and killed affordable housing. And now he's kind of backtracking on that and uh, going back saying, no, 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 no. I didn't kill this because it's affordable housing, right? Because that offended people, which is kind of surprising to me that he would do that, right? Because it is Dave Chappelle, and he ain't afraid of nothing, right? I mean, first, I'll say this right off the bat. I'm a huge Dave Chappelle fan, dude. I've been a Dave Chappelle fan for like 20-something years, dude. That dude is freaking hilarious, right? You got the crackhead memes, the Rick James thing. I mean, dude, the guy's friggin' funny. Uh, I don't know, like, if... If I, it's even appropriate to to support Dave Chappelle at this moment in time in woke culture, uh, it's like sometimes it is, but then sometimes it's not. I don't know because like he's got the whole thing uh, with the LGBTQ community, right? He's got the whole his whole uh, big long standing feud with uh, the transsexual community, and you know his last uh, his last special, right? He starts off and. To be honest with you, right, like, I do think Dave's awesome, love what he does, but when he did his special, I was, like, totally with him at first, because, you know, he started just basically picking at, like, all the woke cancel culture BS, and he's like, dude, I don't have a problem uh, with certain groups of people, and he just, like, started going after his problems with woke cancel and, and their reactions to some of his jokes, and... It seemed like his fight was with that, but then he like continued to, to stand up, and I feel like he kind of went a little—he like, went hard there, and it, it, 
I can see why I defended some people. So, like, I can't really get with Dave on that last special. I think he, he went a little wild. But in general, dude, I think Dave is, like, hilarious. And I was kind of shocked that he walked this thing back a little bit. He doesn't seem like a guy that would do something like that. He seems like, yo, bro, I'm Dave Chappelle. This is what I'm doing. Fuck off if you don't like it. That seems to be what it did. But he kind of walked it back. He said he's not, didn't kill this thing because it had to do with affordable housing. And then he's kind of... Got a little presser tour here. Looks like they're doing a lot of good PR for the guy, right? They got, uh, you know, just talking about the stuff he did in Yellow Springs, right? Yellow Spring gets a big assist from Dave Chappelle. Comedian's donation uh, was used to purchase new uniform shoes and gear for the high school, right? The high school where he lives, right? This is like a super small town, right? When you're dealing with townships or villages in Ohio, we're talking like teeny weeny. Uh, not a lot of people. Like the township that I'm, gonna, uh, I'm building my house in where, again— Nowhere near the amount of cachet Dave has. Obviously, I'm getting a little screwed over. We're, we're dealing with, like, 2,800 people. Like, so it's not a lot. Uh, and then, you know, just more stuff. Like, he's bringing more business, right? So, essentially, there ain't nobody anywhere near Yellow Springs, Ohio, that is anywhere near as high profile as Dave Chappelle, right? So, Dave Chappelle is obviously, like, you know, the biggest name in the game in the area, right? Most famous person has the most net worth, can do the most good for the city. And he utilized a lot of that cachet, a lot of that power uh, to kill this housing development, okay? So they were proposing to do a housing development, this company, Oberer Homes, and they were going to develop 53 acres uh, where Dave lived. This is like very near uh, his property, okay? And... What ended up happening is uh, Dave and many other people in this village spoke out uh, against some of the proposed changes they wanted to make doing this, right? They wanted to switch some zoning uh, to allow them uh, to put in some affordable housing, right? There was essentially like two types of ways they could do it, right? This one, this option, the one that Dave was cool with would be 143 single family homes, Okay, 143 single-family homes starting in the mid-300,000 range, right? So you're looking at houses starting in, like, the 350 k range, okay? What Dave had a problem with uh, was a proposed change where they were going to, instead of that, do 140 single-family homes starting in the 200 k range. So all the houses have a little bit less value, and there's going to be a couple acres with 20 to 30 affordable housing units, right? And Dave was like, no, 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 no. No, we ain't doing that, right? He even went to a council meeting uh, and because he's got a lot of businesses in the area, right? Just saw he's just opened up that pop-up store. He's doing like a comedy club. He's got, of course, his massive estate, and you know he donates to the school. He's got all kinds of stuff, right? There's nobody that can, uh, you know, give to that community much like Dave can. So uh, Dave's got a bunch of cachet. Dave is big swinging dick, right? So essentially, he used his status, his wealth. Uh, and, you know, he, he was one of the people that spoke out and got this thing killed. Uh, you know, instead of the 140 single families in the 200 range, we're getting 143 in the 300 range. And instead of 20 to 30 affordable housing units, we're getting none. There will be no multifamily because uh, they were going to do like some multifamily, some condos, all affordable housing, right? We ain't getting none of that now. It's just going to be the, the sparsely populated uh, minimum square footage, minimum uh, lot size. 300 something thousand dollar houses, right? So Dave's kind of getting killed for it, right? So that's when, again, he came out and he's like, no, 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 I didn't have to do uh, with the affordable housing. And then you get some other people in the village and all this is online, right? I'll link to all the news articles in the, in the notes here. But you get all the people talking like, no, no. Everybody's like afraid of woke culture. Everybody's afraid to be like, uh, yeah, no, we didn't want we didn't want a bunch of the poor living by us to ruin our property values. Ain't nobody wanted to say that, right? Uh, you, you figure Dave Chappelle would have no problem saying that, but he kind of he walked it back, and then you get the people like, no, how are we going to deal with wastewater management? What about traffic patterns? What about this? What about that, right? Everybody's given uh, the politically correct uh, reasoning for why they don't want it. But, and this is just my opinion, purely opinion as somebody in Ohio, as somebody in the real estate space, right? As a fan. Bro, I think it's pretty obvious you didn't want a bunch of affordable housing units 
butted up against your property, right? Screws with your property values. It's going to increase crime, right? It is what it is. Like, nobody likes to admit this kind of stuff, but, like, dude, with affordable housing comes that type of stuff, right? And you get to a certain level, right, a certain amount of income, right? And you could go and choose to buy homes in secluded areas if you want to do that, right? A guy like Dave Chappelle, uh, that's what he wants to do, right? He could be like, you know, in L.A., right, with all the other super famous people living the life. He chose not to do that, right? Remember, he left Comedy Central for, you know, however long, turned down however many hundreds of millions of dollars or whatever it was. And, uh, you know, guy lives in a random freaking podunk village in uh, Yellow Springs, Ohio that – Probably nobody's ever heard of until somebody heard about this Dave Chappelle story, right? He wants to be secluded, uh, doesn't want a whole bunch of hubbub, doesn't want a whole bunch of crap to deal with. And I think that's his right, right? That was the zoning uh, when he bought it, right? Now they're proposing a zoning change to allow for affordable housing. But that ain't what he signed up for, right? Uh, like, you know, take people that want to do Airbnbs in certain zonings, right? Like, you know essentially, right, you get some people that are like, why can't I do whatever I want with my house? But you're really running it like a hotel. And, you know, we do, we are involved in the Airbnb business as well, right? But I respect the rights of uh, zoning boards and citizens to vote on that type of stuff, right? Because if I sign up to live in an area with mixed use, right? Like if I sign up to be in a mixed use area where there's retail, residential, hotel, motel, I signed up for that. That's what I knowingly went into the game to do. But if I didn't sign up for that, I signed up for something totally different. I paid the price, right? Because you don't think buying a gigantic farm in this area is cheap, do you? It's probably not. He paid the price, right? He earned the money, honestly, and that's what he wanted to do with it. He wanted to live in a secluded area, and he didn't want to live in an area with low-income housing, okay? I mean, it is what it is, dude. I don't even understand how we got to a point in society where that's, like, makes you a horrible person. Now, it's crazy, right? Like, I'm a white dude, uh, so if I say that, I get labeled a racist. But, you know, Dave Chappelle's saying it now, and he's obviously not a white dude, and, you know, he obviously does make many, many cracks on white people, which, by the way, are hilarious because the guy is freaking funny, right? So I think it's cool... Uh, that we're kind of able to take race out of this because uh, it's just like an extremely wealthy, powerful person, right? And they're not going to play the race card, which is cool. But I'll be honest with you. I don't think he uh, opposed this for any reason other than the affordable housing. I don't buy any of the, the traffic pattern stuff. Uh, or I think he was quoted as saying, Something along the lines of, it's just not right for the village. Because, I mean, when he went to this council meeting, he was quoted as saying, you know, he was naming off his businesses. And he's like, I'll pull them all off the table. I'm not playing. I don't believe him when he's trying to walk that back. I fully believe that Dave Chappelle uh, opposes this because he doesn't want low-income housing next to his massive estate that he bought. And you know what? I don't think there's a problem with that. I got no issues with that. I think that is uh, totally acceptable. I don't understand why uh, people are vilifying people for that, right? Like, you know, there are issues that come with that stuff, and he signed up to live in a secluded area. That's where he wants to live. So what do you guys think? Do you think, uh, you know, all this woke culture and this or that, they should be allowed to just, you know, change the zoning and homeowners should be vilified for not wanting to live next to affordable housing. Uh, I would like to hear you guys' thoughts on that, right? Because I, we have massive amounts of rental properties at my company, and uh, a lot of them are in the neighborhoods that I've grown up in, right? Uh, but guess what? I didn't have a lot of money when I grew up. I had, like, no money. And uh, now I got, like, a bunch of it because real estate did really well for me, and I don't still live in those neighborhoods, I don't want to live in those neighborhoods. I still do business in those neighborhoods. I come from those neighborhoods. Uh, but now I can afford to live in a much uh, nicer, more secluded neighborhood. And I think that is absolutely my right. So uh, I would probably be doing the exact same thing Chappelle's doing. Although if I got called out on it, of course, it wouldn't be uh, in anywhere near as many publications as Dave has been in. But I don't think I'd walk that back. I'd be like, yeah, man, I grew up in neighborhoods like that. And I worked incredibly hard 
so I didn't, uh, so I can move to the nicer neighborhoods, and that's what I did. Speaking of nicer neighborhoods, speaking of where I live, as I said earlier, uh, you know, where I'm building my home, it, it's very similar to Dave's story, right? It's uh, except you know, just short of like two hundred million dollars, right? And like worldwide fame, right? If you just get rid of those two things, similar story. Uh, it's his is a village, mine's a township. He's got a whole bunch of acreage. I got a whole bunch of acreage building my lot, and this just goes into the cachet, right? So. Uh, over here is like a development area. And then I got this like big 30 acre, uh, plot here and off the street, uh, the, the, the township decided they want a cul-de-sac, right? Uh, so this is my proposed cul-de-sac drawing because guess what? When you're not Dave Chappelle and, uh, you don't have that kind of cachet, the city gets to come to you. Well, not the city, the township or the village, whatever you want to call it. In this case, it's a township. They get to come to you and they say, Hey, we see that you want to build a house on all that acreage. Totally cool. But guess what? Uh, you have to give us some of that acreage so we can put a cul-de-sac in there. But guess what? Uh, we're not going to put the cul-de-sac in there. You got to put the cul-de-sac in there. And also you got to pay for it. But then afterwards, it's ours. Psh. Okay. Whatever. So I'm kind of going back and forth with them. We're in kind of a little standoff, little battle here. A uh, little battle here, right? Uh, unlike Dave, who just goes, yeah, dude, I'm freaking Dave Chappelle. Uh, screw you. It's going to be my way or the highway. And they're like, oh, shit. Sorry, Dave. Our bad. So uh, us regular folk, we got to battle uh, the government a little bit. But I'm not a fan. Uh, not a fan of having to build a cul-de-sac. They're very expensive. I don't know if anybody here has ever built a freaking cul-de-sac uh, for the municipality you live in. Usually they supply that for you. Uh, I'm building one for them. Apparently that's it looks like it's how it's going to shake out. Not cheap. Not happy about it. But again, back to Dave, though. Uh, in my opinion, I, d I don't have a problem with what he did. Uh, I'm not really sure why he feels the need to walk this one back. I mean, I guess I get why he's walking it back. But I don't really have a problem with that. I don't, I don't think it's that offensive. Let me know what you guys think. And if you got similar stories, drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.